Students are generally confused about these two terms literary theories and literary movements. There is a difference between these two. Try to understand this. You know, during one period of time, when you find a drastic change, a huge change in the style of writing literature, it is called a literary movement. For example, if you examine the literature, poetry written during the first half of the 17th century, you have metaphysical poetry that was a movement. It was a reaction against the romantic poetry of the 16th century. So the change that you see in literature is called literary movement. But literary theory is a different thing you know in theory you apply say for example marxism is a theory structuralism is a theory feminism is a theory it is a set of norms which you apply to read and understand to analyze and evaluate a particular work of art written in any period of time Say for example, the theory of Marxism which was existing towards the end of the 19th century and in the beginning of the 20th century, this theory can be applied to the literature which was written even during the 17th and 18th century. So theory is a set of norms, a set of rules by which you evaluate a particular work of art written all through the history of English literature. So in short, let me summarize by saying that you know, movement, literary movement is found during one period of time, a change that you see during that period. And theory is the norms of evaluating a work of art which can be applied to any work of art all through the history of English literature.